So this week, we are going to get out the lawn deck again to uh, show a few more cards and use one of the spreads. And last week, I... Um, or I can't remember when I did the video. Um, when I flipped through the book, uh, this stuck out to me. Anyway, I, I, I thought I'd seen that this spiral um, from another book, and it just stuck out to me. So anyway, and since I learned my lesson from my medicine card deck to make sure I'm using the right spread... Uh, this actually goes with the Fibonacci Spiral Draw Spread. The spread is named after Fibonacci, the famous uh, Italian mathematician who discovered a specific sequence of numbers that are at the core of many spiral forms that we find throughout nature, from seashells to sunflower heads to uh, leaf arrangements and plants. Spirals are like ongoing circles, but they never close, symbolizing life uh, never repeats the same exact cycle twice. This is the way that the universal life force ensures ongoing growth and evolution. The spread will give you insight into the external influence in your life you are likely already aware of, and the internal influences that are closer to your core, which you are often not able to see. By becoming aware of all these different aspects and understanding the dynamic of their combined energies, you will be able to navigate the flow you are in more easily. And one, two, three. Okay, card one represents the internal influence that you are not able to see you are dealing with. That we're not able to see we're dealing with. 26, Empowerment. The frequency of impairment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. Okay. So I feel like this is saying, you know, you're not, you're not able to see, um, yeah, perhaps it's uh, it's like we're feeling feeling uh, detached or feeling like you know we're feeling kind of isolated. Uh, the two card. Okay, the two card here is uh, represents what is our issue? Our issue. Emergence. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds that from that place. Okay, wow. The issue, emergence. So we're, we're struggling to, to kind of like, to like let go and allow ourselves to to just try to have fun with things. I think that's what the issue is. Um, okay, for our three card. Our three card is our ex external influence of which we are aware of. The external influence. The in external influence of which you are aware of. So this is what we're aware of. Okay, our three card. This is the 29 healing card. 
frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. I mean, I, that's a good thing. I mean, I feel like it's, uh, we're aware of our health. So that's a good thing to be aware of. So our four card. Okay, this is our four card and this is what this is what is needed. What do we need? Merkaba. That is a new word for me. For some reason, it's making me think of some kind of like dish. Like a stir fry or something. Um, the frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to trans uh, traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiencing, uh, experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. Well, that's a pretty deep card. Wow. Yeah. What is needed? Yeah. <laughs> I do need to go into some different dimensions. Um, yeah. So there is what we need. We need some Merkaba. And card five, our resolution. Card five is our resolution. Oh, all right. Prosperity. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration uh, of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. Well, that's a positive resolution. So, I've... Uh, sat back here and, and pondered a little and I so just yeah to go over uh, number one here card represents internal influence and uh, yeah I mean it's pretty straightforward message uh, that we we are all connected um, and that we're empowered with our with with acknowledging a, a the connection you have with with others and we're not um this is saying yeah we're not we're not aware of that that <laughs> that uh so that's that's a uh you know an encouraging message um so but the issue is this number two card to me it's just saying if this can focus to to allow ourselves to uh emerge to and this is making me think of like a the full energy wonderment yeah to uh yeah just embrace um not to have any fear uh for uh each uh for each each uh step you take and whatever your your project is and this one was kind of funny to me uh this number three card uh external influences you are aware of and um, through a <laughs> that comes through us our uh, using um, comes to us through our senses. So I mean, I felt like this is it's saying like you're aware 
of what you're aware of. Like, you know, you're, um, I don't know. I, I feel like there might be more to this, but I, it's not really hitting me. I just feel like it's that we're aware of how we're feeling. Um, I think it's a positive thing. I feel like it's saying we're aware of, of what, it's like we're aware of what we can control and, um, like we're taking care of ourselves, um, the way we know how is what, is what this, what I get from that. But what I think, what, what I think is interesting is when I, I thought about this and this was, uh, yeah, this is what is needed. And the more I thought about this one, this, um, it activates our access to our Akashic inher inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. Um, I, I felt like what came to me from this is saying we, we need to take seriously what, um, what messages we receive. Or what, yeah, what we gather, um, like what, yeah, whatever signs or message you, we receive, um, it's like we, I feel like it's saying not to, to just blow that off <laughs> and to, to, to acknowledge them and to, uh, yeah, to merge, merge that into our reality. Like allow ourselves to accept our our messages that we get, and um, and then with this prosperity card, it's it's like it's saying you need to listen to these these messages so that you can uh, prosper. So yeah, this is our resolution. Resolution. Yeah, allowing ourselves to li listen to our messages. That message is is, is strong uh, for me, because um, that's what I I struggle with. I I question <laughs> I question my intuition a lot. So uh, yeah. Maybe that's that's uh that's what this is saying. Um, I hope uh, you got a, a an a helpful message from these uh, this card here, and this is from the uh, Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle by Lon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.